I had heard last summer that uh, the county was going to uh, dismantle the hill, and so I went to a public meeting. And when the vote came out, um, it was to close it, and uh, I, I didn't feel well with that, and decided to make a phone call the next morning, and they said, well, if you're passionate about it, things could change. Well, I think when we showed up that day for the presentation, uh, we broke fire codes because so many people showed up. So that saved the day. Oh, it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, Perry Prazik. Uh, I was born and raised here. It was, it was great, yeah. Couldn't ask for a better, uh, better childhood. The, the hill was run for 40 years by a board of directors, a nonprofit group in the past. When I knew it was going back into their hands, I, I knew it was a win-win situation. For a lot of kids, it's their only opportunity to learn how to ski. It's their mountain, <laughs> you know? I actually used to walk here from our farm. It was about three miles. I would uh, carry my ski boots and uh, my uh, skis and poles were left at the rental shop and I would pick them up and, and I would ski for the day. If I came early enough, I got a ride with the fellow that was running the rental shop, so it was great. The kids need to have something to do, and uh, there's nothing better than to be, be on a ski hill. It keeps families together because it's one of the few things that you can do as a sport. Anywhere from, from 80 to 4. But yeah, it's, it's a great feeling to have her come out and be, you know, sliding around on the same slopes that I did, you know, 45 or 50 years ago. Still here making snow, uh, building the train park. Yeah, still enjoy it. I, I think I'll be staying here till I'm 80 for sure. <laughs> I hope to anyway. <laughs>